Today we are guests of the Castlefield Sports Gun Club in County Offaly for an Irish driven shoot with a difference. The Castlefield Sports Syndicate split all the keepering duties here between the team and this helps to create an incredibly relaxed and friendly environment with a huge amount of banter coming from all angles. I just had the first drive, didn't expect much from this because it's a game crop right in front of us but the birds climbed really really well. One of the guys here, he breeds the birds and there's a great variety of different breeds and different strains they put on the ground. So it's really really strong flying birds there. Had a couple of shots myself, didn't shoot very well. Um, sort of new gun is going to take me a little while to dial into but we're getting into some forestry now in the next drive so really looking forward to seeing what, what kind of day we have put on. I've chosen to shoot a Rosini today. Having tried the brand for the first time a few weeks ago, I've become a big fan of their guns and this round body 32 inch sporter suits me extremely well. Light and well balanced for a long barrel sporter, this gun has great stock dimensions for driven game shooting and tight bores to ensure a good seal with fibre wog cartridges. It has been supplied with three quarter chokes which may be a little tight but they will help to ensure we get clean kills, something which is extra important to the picking up team here who have to deal with heavy cover. So here we are in the second drive, we're actually a back gun. We've got another line of guns just in front of this little Esker. And lovely traditional looking forestry drive. Um, just had a quick look at the shot cam footage from the first drive. And the couple of birds I shot at, I was well under them, a foot or more under them. So I think it's probably because there's quite a lot lower stock than I'm used to. So um, I'm going to give myself the kiss of death now. I'm going to say I'm going to shoot better this drive because I know just to pull up into the bar a little bit more, but anything we get here should be nice. Oh! That's the one I wanted. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh! Underneath them. Well, what a drive that was. So exciting. Such a mixture of angles and speeds on those birds. Something about hopper fed birds that they just always fly well and fly more radically. Tricky birds, a lot of birds there. I was just getting out in front of them and they just turned like pigeons. They're just a much wilder bird when they're hopper fed. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, to come as a back gun and shoot, I've probably five or six cartridges left in that box. That's as good a drive as you'd want anywhere. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic birds. And um, shooting instinctively with this, it was perfect. It's quite light for a sporter. It's under eight pounds weight and it's, it's just the sort of balance I like, weight slightly forward. But just shooting instinctively there, I was just, um, just getting on those birds really, really well. Super drive, absolutely loved it. My favorite game board cartridge. They just suit me. When you get the crossers coming as a back gun, you're gonna stretch the range a little bit. So I went up to these, but they just kill so well and a really, really smooth shell to shoot. So we've just come into the third drive. We're on this lane and very, very poor visibility in front. I'm not going to be able to shoot until birds are over the tops of these trees. Uh, anything that's crossing these pines is going to be going to be a decent bird. So this will be this will be snap shooting at its best, but I do enjoy a bit of snap shooting.
bit of drive just with the guys they only run a couple of days here and sometimes the birds get away on them during the drive and it just happened that birds came running right through to the front I don't know whether it's geese wind or whatever it was but the birds couldn't hear the guns come in so we ended up having to move the gun line back mid drive which it was it was the right thing to do because birds were climbing really well here and I got some nice long crossers out there but yeah made it quite exciting saw a lot of birds there again and we're only on a on a small day here today so it's probably a good thing that they didn't fly a bit better at the start but a lot of fun saw another couple of white ones there these guys are determined to get me to shoot a white pheasant today but I'm not going to pay for the bounty well done sir you can f <laughs> <laughs> I did not shoot that! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Been well and truly stitched up. <laughs> How much ground are you working on here? In the woodland itself, um, there is approximately a thousand acres in the woodland. So it's um, it's just a gang of the syndicate just doing all the work and putting on a few days? Yes, um, just for our own. Jeez, fair play to you. It's a, it's, it's, it's a very unique setup. It's nice, it's different. Um, the drives that we get into it are different with the, the height of the yeah. ridges and stuff. But it gives you good high boards. Um, Be beautiful terrain for it as well and beautiful woodland. Yeah, it's lovely. And how like how much work does it actually take? Is it is it worth doing? <laughs> uh, it takes a hell of a lot of work. Uh, we start we start with the, the pheasants in March and it runs right through and we kind of we get a break then after Christmas. We say the end of January is our kind of our downtime till March again and. So it's, it's a lot, there's a lot goes into it, there's a lot of time that's put into it. Uh, we have a good yeah. group of lads with us as well, it's a very good group of lads. They, they do a lot of work on the ground. So. And you don't have a gamekeeping background or it's just... God no. <laughs> <laughs> God no. Everything is kind of trial and error, and it's trial and error. Oh well done. Well it's a, geez, it's, it's as good a shoot as you'd want to go on. Thank you. <laughs> it's, no, it's a, it's a massive credit to you. Well, basically it's, it's, it, it was put together basically just for a rough shooting. For walk up days um, and we had to divert over slightly to uh, driven shoots because of the finance to try and keep the shoot running so um, it will never be a commercial shoot but it will revert back after a couple of drives we go back to our our, our driven or our walk up days we we actually have our own program here at the moment we rear our own birds we hatch hatch our own eggs and rear the chicks and bring the birds on on the estate and this is our first year with it and it has worked perfect. We we have great success with it and our driven shoots are seem to be going from strength to strength. But in fairness we, we have a we have a good team of lads actually from the town here. And uh, the ground itself is ideal for driven shoots. We have a lot of eskers out there and we have uh, you know even even the oak trees, the beech trees, ash trees, it's 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 natural ground for driven yeah. shoes, it's, it's perfect, eh? the conditions are perfect out there. Yeah. Well this is the last drive on what's been just a spectacular day so far, I've really been surprised with how good this has been and the beaters have just beaten this pen out, all hopper fed here so the birds haven't been fed to a feed ride. So they've pushed them all up this bank and over in front and now they're going to drive them back and if it's anything like earlier on we're going to get some spectacular varied shooting here. So. Hopefully, hopefully this will be a this will be a bumper drive to finish. Oh, nice shot. They are moving. For more about Rosini shotguns in Ireland, go to rdsports.com. For details about Gamebore's range of cartridges and where they are available in Ireland, go to gamebore.com. And for information on Jack Pike's shooting clothing, go to jackpike.co.uk.